Hi right, guys, this is the training video for how to make brine for all the pickled vegetables that we pick up here. I just seen fun for So I got all of these in floss set up to, to make the brine. I'm only going to make one time the recipe, but you can use this and, and make it 10 or 15 times the recipe by queuing up more third pans and more 22 pans, right? So, I'm going to reference the recipe for how much sugar to put in the third pan. simple syrup. I'm going to pour boiling water on top of the salt and sugar. And you're going to fill it almost to the top. So it's got to be right off the boil and you got to fill it up really high because you need to dissolve all the salt and sugar. I'm going to continue to uh, stir the brine until uh, the cloudiness has disappeared and I don't see any more salt and sugar flakes dissolving. Again, that's really important. You don't want to add that to the 22 quart with ice and vinegar because all that salt and sugar is going to fall on the bottom. So we're making sure it's uh, suspended evenly. So we're almost there. As you can see, it's turning clear. I can still see a little bit of salt. So I just want to work a little bit more until it all dissolves. So now I have my simple syrup. I got 22 cup gourd, which I put three scoops of ice in here. It's the perfect amount of ice, three scoops. Right. I'm gonna pour my simple syrup in here. And now I'm gonna add my vinegar. So you never wanna add vinegar to hot liquid, because it's gonna uh, uh, it's gonna ruin the, the quality of the vinegar. So I'm going to measure out my vinegar. Right. Well, it's really important now during the whole process is that I'm actually stirring the ice. So if ice is on top, that's 32 degrees. What's underneath that is actually going to be warmer because the ice is flowing on the top. So as I stir it vigorously, it's going to pull the ice to the bottom, and the entire container is going to be really cold. And I actually want to stir this until almost all the ice is gone. But what's going to happen is this, the, the temperature of this brine is going to drop below 32 degrees because of all the salt and sugar in there. So it's actually going to be cooler than the freezing point and it won't freeze. Right? And at that point, when it hits around 30 degrees, that's when I want to pull in my vegetables because the vegetables are warm, they're going to warm up. They won't be above 41 degrees. This is so cold. So. The pour filtered water up to the 20 quart line. Now, normally, you'd be doing this with a pot filler, so it'd be filling as I'm whisking it. But I'm going to whisk it very, very You can see that all the ice is being pulled out of the bottom. Only a handful of ice cubes left, so I'm just gonna give another stir. The rest of that should melt because of the high salt sugar concentration. Now from here, I can hit this with a thermometer. It's around 30 degrees. I just want to skim off any ice that's floating. Okay. You don't want that ice. Pour it on top of any kind of vegetable because it'll damage. Okay. So now this brine's ready for pickled vegetables. You can see there's no salt or sugar floating around, it's all uh, clear liquid.